Hi, I'm Keith Fennick. I'm hoping to show you a wide range of tips that will help you in your development as an artist. We use a rigger brush, a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of painter's grey, just to paint in a tree structure. Just as an indication of where we're going to put the foliage. I'm just twitching up look to capture some branches. That's all we need. And I need to get some tissue. And I'm going to just soften the branches at the top like that. Then I'm going to my down water brush. Now the water colours tells you to paint trees light to dark. But when you think of nature, trees are dark on the inside, light on the outside. That's how I'm going to paint them. So I'm using the down water brush and I'm just going to stipple on some dark foliage like that. Now we need to let that fully dry. We're going to put the light foliage on now. And what I do for that is I'm going to use a little bit of white acrylic. Some people use gouache. But if I use acrylic, it stays on the top. It doesn't soak in. That's what I want. So I'm mixing a bit of acrylic, which is another kind of watercolour, with a little bit of green and a bit of yellow, cadmium yellow. A bit of white. And let's just a bit lighter, a bit more yellow in the mix. And I'm just gently stippling. I'm just going to put a bit of foreground for the tree. I'm using my angle brush, the Oswater water brush. And I'll show you another useful little tip. We'll get the round brush. Who needs a fan brush? What I'm going to do is I'm using my round brush and I fan it between my fingers, thumb and forefinger, hold it by the tip and I'll just twitch upwards to give the effect of some grass going around because that tree wasn't put there last night. I want a little dark, a bit darker colour. That's more natural. There we are, look. And there's our summer tree. That wasn't difficult, was it? Let's paint some autumn trees now. To control the base of the trees, I'm using a bit of masking tape. I always use three quarter wide masking tape because I can bend it quite easily. So I'm just going to bend it like that. I'm just kinking it. Up there like that. I'm paying down to that level now. So what we're going to do, I'm using my Derwent water brush again. I want some tissue in my hand, because I always use that to control the wetness of paint on the brush. I want some Payne's Grey, some burnt sienna, and we're going to stipple in some shapes, look. This is a group of trees and bushes coming down the top of that hillside there. All I'm doing is stippling, look. I'm going to use a wonder knife and I'm going to scratch in a bit of tree structure. I'll probably cover most of this up. And then we need it to dry perfectly before we put on the foliage. Let's put a range of autumn colours on now. We'll start with a bit of raw sienna, a bit of cadmium orange, a bit of white. And let's just stipple. I'm holding the brush very, very lightly, and I'm just stippling. Bit of burnt sienna now to the mix. I'm mixing that with a bit of cadmium yellow, touch of white. A little bit here. A bit more cadmium orange, touch of red. And a bit of white. I just want a variety of autumn colours there. I'll just continue down here as well on the trees running down the, these are bushes. Now let's have a bit of cadmium yellow deep. I'll put a light 
what you need in front there. You can use the colours that you, you're happy with. Just a little bit red on this one here. And there. And there's a range of autumn colours. Now we take the tape off and that ensures we've got a level area at the bottom of the trees. What you can do if you want is just put in a little bit of a fence. Don't forget we don't want square fences. The distance between the fence posts wants to be twice the height of the fence. I put a little bit of shadow while I've got some paint on. I'll just have a wiggle, a bit of shadow on those, the base of those trees, and we'll just play the violin and soften that shadow. And there's our autumn trees. Let's paint some winter trees now, and I'm going to show you how to paint ivy up trees. So we'll start by putting a bit of tape to represent the base of the trees. We'll position that across there. I always bend it. I don't like to see the base of the top of a field. It's level. It's not natural in a painting. A little bit of variety. Right. I'm coming to my Derwent water brush and we're going to put a dark background for the trees. I'm using some Payne's Grey and some Burnt Sienna and we're going to stipple. I hold these brushes very, very lightly and just stipple away. Look. I'll zoom over here. Fill that in a little bit. I need a dark background, otherwise you won't see the snow. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a tree with ivy. So I'm just going to roughly put that in there. That's sure I'll come to the small rigger. And I'll put that up there like that. When I get to the top, to get the thin branches, I just twitch. A bit of burnt sienna, a bit of Payne's grey. That will do. Again, back to the down water brush. I want some dark green. A bit of Payne's grey, and we'll cover this over to represent ivy at the trees. Don't forget we'll have bits trailing out. We'll have a darker, bit more Payne's grey. And I'll just join that up with some, another bush like that. This is in the middle of these are the trees. Now we need to let that dry completely before we put on the foliage in the snow. Let's put the foliage on the ivy first. Bit of green, bit of that white. Gently touch like that. I'm just Dropping a little bit on there, look, very simple. I'll come to the rigger brush, because I can't with a large brush show the ivy trailing up the thin branches, so we'll just do a little dab like that. And don't forget to be a bit trailing out. I've got a row of these in my garden. Killing all my oak trees here. Right, let's put the snow on the trees. Using a bit of white acrylic. You can use white gouache, but a bit of white acrylic is ideal because the paint stays on the top. So here we go. Look, we'll just stipple gently. Just to represent some snow on the foliage. We'll put some crisp white on in a moment. All right, let's get some nice crisp white. Don't want the paint too thick. There's some nice crisp white there at the bottom. I'm going to take off the masking tape. It won't tear it. Wouldn't dare. And we'll just signify a bit of drifting down there at the bottom. I'm just going to put a little bit of white on the ivy. And then we'll put a few dead leaves on the top. A bit of burnt sienna. 
I'll we'll just put a few dead leaves, leaves on the top of his winter tree. Bit of shadow underneath. Quick twitches. Bit of pins, grey musing. And a bit of pins, grey, a bit of burnt sienna. And just put a little fence in there like that. Little fence works wonders, it's so easy. And there we are, there's our snow scene, including a winter tree with ivy. I want to show you how to paint trees in the mist now, some fir trees. What I've done, I've done a misty atmospheric sky. I've just put a very pale raw sienna wash on, dropped a bit of blue in while it's wet. And to get these effective distant misty trees, I've painted them in when they're quite wet. But don't put the tops of the trees on until you've dried it, otherwise you just get a blob. So what I'm going to do, look, is I'm going to just wet it with clear water. And then I'm going to use a three quarter flat. And I'm going into the green and a bit of Payne's grey. While it's wet, I'm just going to rock the brush. So all we do, look, is we go rock, 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 rock. And because I've wet the background, I won't get any detail. I'll just get an atmospheric effect. I'll just add a bit more Payne's grey. And we'll go again. We'll turn the brush around, look, just to get a few bits like that. Now we'll put the paint on a bit thicker, a bit stiffer. And we'll do another tree here. All I'm doing, look, is rocking from side to side. And again, as we come forward, we'll have a darker one here. More paint's greater to the mix. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the angle brush of mine, the oil's water, a little bit of white, a bit of the green mix I've got, and I want to just lighten some of this foliage a bit because these are more in the foreground i'm just lightening it like that look using the shape of the angle that's why the angle's on the brush and this is how i paint trees in the mist now we need to dry this now i've dried it i'm just going to put on using the three quarter flat the tops of the trees look Easy as that. And I'm just going to add just a bit more dark on here because this tree is closer. And there we are, it's as simple as that.